Hey guys, it's Erica. And Jess, welcome back to Twin Aura Knits. Vlogmas Day. I know, we gotta look. Six. six. Oh my god. <laughs> gotta look I down, know. gotta look down. Okay, so day six. We have not spoiled it ourselves today. No, we haven't. Accomplishment. But if, but if Accomplishment. you look at the bag, you can see a color. Maybe you can't see a color. You can see a color. You can see a hint of a color. Ugh, put that down. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start off with a cat sandwich. Yes. Um. Last time it was kind of an orangey color. I'm trying to do what I did the last time. If I put my fingers I, in, can I tell the difference? I'm like, I wonder if it'll be like a corally pink or even like a corally red. I, I, we're, trying like to a find, we're trying to find like a, some theme and yeah. I don't think there's a theme, which is fine. I keep saying that every time, but like, I don't know what to guess. I know, me neither. I'm liking all the colors that she's doing though. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna, one, two, two three. three. <gasps> oh my god you know what that looks like okay can we just have a moment oh i love this this is like a warm panky it kind of looks red but it's not red it's doesn't like it look like the wig that jennifer gardner wore on the, <gasps> alias on the on the pilot episode of alias kind of her red wig but it really wasn't red it was pink but it wasn't pink but it wasn't. this is this yes that. yep oh. that's exactly what it looks like if y'all don't know what it is, I'll pop up a picture now. We love Alias. We do love Alias. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So. So today is Holly, Holly Jolly. Jolly. Holly Jolly. Is Holly Jolly. Okay. So I'm thinking Holly Jolly is going to be more red because Fuzzy Slippers might be red and Cousin Palton is pink and Plum Pudding is going to be purple. All right, so then I'm thinking that if it, it needs to be a transitional color, so I'm thinking it's going to be like this. No one's seeing what you're pointing at. Let me do. There we go. So I think it's going to be like this orangey looking stripe where it's like, it's actually not orange, but from far away it looks orange because it's actually like the, the gold, gold and, the and the red. These are vintage pants, by the way. They're my favorite pants I've ever purchased. Truth. They're my Clara pants. They are your Clara pants. I think it's orange. I think orange it's maybe with specks. Or red with specks. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. with like some darker specks. I don't know. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, girl! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Holly Jolly Christmas. Look at this! It looks like a mango. I love it. A mango? It does not look like a mango. Like the inside of a mango, like this color. Oh, kinda. I'm like, mango. What are you talking about, mango? Let me live. Ooh. Look at how beautiful this okay, is. Okay, Holly Jolly. I'm really excited. Oh my god. I'm I like, love how different this is from last year's advent. I know. It's making me like want to knit something, but also like I don't know what to knit. I know. I've seen a lot of people doing the um, Beth McDonald Stones color play sweater, and as their their advent are opening, they're they're like doing Yeah, the colors. The colors, which That's is smart. neat. But I don't know, I wanna wait. I might do the <sighs> stash. Honey, I shrunk the stash with this. Yeah. Um, but I don't know yet. Oh my god, I love it. It's just so nice. It's so beautiful. Ooh. -wee. Okay. Ooh. I'm like, I'm like this. <gasps> oh. Like the, these yes. specs. This like, needed to happen again. Look at that. I'm like, can we just have like a moment of like, look at that. I know this is so good. It almost looks like a peach. Ooh, yes. Stop it. I keep. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be that out of frame. That is not peach cobbler. Yeah. This is good. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Those go really well together. I know. This would be really nice as a lipstick color. I know. It probably is. Yeah. We gotta find it now. Dang it, Bobby. All right. So today on Twin Aura's Instagram, I wanted to know what your favorite Christmas movie was. Um. So I will compile a list and put it in our highlights. Mm -hmm. um, so if y'all want to go watch a movie, you know, you can pick from one of their, them. Or our friend um, yes. Pearl Interrupted, she's watching Christmas movies, and we've kind of been watching them with her. So she's been picking, like... Funny, like, cheesy... Like the Hallmark kind of cheesy Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. And honestly... 
they kind of been great. I don't know why. Like, I didn't realize this was such a genre, like a home for the holidays type, cr like Christmas cringy situation. Yeah, but it was so good. It was so good. So we watched together with her. I mean, like, she suggested that people watch it. Yeah. So we watched it with her, and it was called A Christmas Movie Christmas. Nope, A Christmas Movie Movie. No, it was A Christmas Movie Christmas. It's called a Christmas movie Christmas. No, it's called a Christmas movie movie. I don't think so. It is. It is. Go get your phone. Go get it. Go get it. I think I'm right. No, you're not. A Christmas movie Christmas. You're right. Damn it. <laughs> it's because she called it a Christmas movie movie. So I got confused. Come and have a seat. <laughs> so remember yesterday when we were talking about the satisfaction of being right? <laughs> okay, so technically, Erica's correct. But I got confused because Samantha was calling it a Christmas movie movie. So therefore, I called it a Christmas movie movie. But that's not what the movie is called. You're no, not going to find a Christmas movie movie if you're looking for it. You're not. So we watched a Christmas movie, Christmas. Still sounds wrong. It's not. I know. Um, it was very good. It was, it was the really good. Like, it was perfectly cringe. We started calling it Christmas cringe. Yes. But it was doing it on purpose because yep. it knows it's making fun of the trope. Yep. Um, which I loved. It was kind of funny. But I do love, um, I do love a good Christmas movie. I know. We also watched... A Castle for Christmas. That one was good. That one was good. It has knitters in it. Yes, but I don't know if y'all have been seeing other people watching it because of the knitters, but it's, it was actually really cute. It was really cute. I mean, it was, was it predictable? Yes. Yes. But it's supposed to be. Yeah, I know, but when They're you're all like, rom-coms, and I'm here for all of these Christmas rom-coms. Yes, but rom also when you're like trying, when you're like tired, and you're just like, I'm ready to go to sleepy sleep. No, it was good. I appreciate it. I was it. like, I was like, okay, obviously they have to have a fight in order for them to make up because that's the whole thing, right? Because that's how all of these things go, right? Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, what is your other favorite Hallmark movies? Well, my favorite movie ever, and I've probably discussed it before in a previous Vlogmas, yeah. is A Diva's Christmas Carol. Where, can we find with, that? With Vanessa Williams. I have no idea if Please. they even show it anymore. I don't but know. But that was my favorite one. She plays Ebony Scrooge, mm -hmm. and I freaking love it. It's good. We should try to find it. We should try to find it and watch it. Um, my Also, I really love, like, if you want to talk about, like, ridiculous Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy enjoyed um a Christmas Prince on Netflix. <gasps> yeah. There's three of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a Christmas Prince, there's the Royal Wedding and then it's Baby Makes 3. Well, I don't think it's called Baby Makes 3, but I follow the actress and she said and Baby Makes 3, so there's a royal Christmas baby situation happening. I haven't yeah. watched that yet. Yeah. I also kind of like The Princess Switch with Vanessa Hudgens. I haven't seen it. The first one was good. I haven't seen the other two. I only have seen the, um, when Erin Moon does it, because she, she, like, mm. watches it and, like, Instagram, Instagrams she it. She live tweets it, live yeah. Instagram stories it. Um, I also really like, I know I'm talking about a lot of my favorites, but... I really also love the Santa Claus. That's my favorite movie. That is that's one so and good. two. The third one's not as good. No, those are good. But Tim Allen was those are genius. classics. I know they were. I'm classics. like, we should just watch that. I know we will. Um, what else? What else? Uh, Veronica said that Noel was good on Disney Plus. Ooh, we have to watch Anna. that. Kendrick. Yeah. We should watch that. I've not seen that. I'm one like, yet. I don't know, but the two that I'm looking forward to, Amy Acker has a new one mm. on Hallmark. And then Cristela has Christmas in Santa Fe. Oh! And I want to watch that one because I, I love just Christella. love all of these weird Christmas movies. They make me so happy. She wrote it. Oh, even better. I love like, Cristela. She straight up wrote it. She's yeah. funny. I love her. I love her too. Cristela is now on Hulu, so now you can watch the whole entire series of Cristela. Yeah, if you I'll haven't it. seen it, you should. You should. It's really good. Funny. It's funny. It's about like her. As a lawyer. As a lawyer, because if she wasn't going to become a comedian, she would have become a lawyer. So she wrote a TV series mm -hmm. as that. 
as her becoming a lawyer. Which was good. It was so good. Um, what else? I loved I they keep it. saying what else, but those ones are you like You say top. what else. I know. I keep saying. A lot of people really loved, um, a lot of people love Home Alone. Yeah, people love Home Alone, but someone was, uh, a few people mentioned, um, A Muppet's Christmas oh. Carol. They said that that was really good. I don't remember watching that. I might have to. I might have to. Yeah, me either. Um, The Grinch is also a good one. Oh, how the can cartoon. we forget the Grinch? How can we forget the Grinch? And, and... We've and not the seen Jim Carrey. We've not seen the remake though with Benedict Cumberbatch as the Grinch. Oh no, we probably. You know what? Should we have a Grinch movie marathon where it's like the cartoon, the live action, and then the no? Do you see this face? I don't know if I have time to do all of that. I mean, not all at once, but like every night for three for like the weekend. You could do that. No. Okay. I am okay. This has nothing to do with Christmas, but I am deep in a marathon of a Kim's Convenience show, Kim's Convenience, yeah. and I like that's my guilty. It's not my guilty pleasure. I just freaking love it. It is so funny. Mm -hmm. It was recommended to me in my DMs because I'm low key obsessed with Simu right now. She's not low key. <laughs> I'm high key obsessed. <laughs> um. And right now the story's getting good, so like I don't know if I want to like stop watching like my stories <laughs> to watch um, the Grinch <laughs> three times okay. in a row, but okay, that's fine. We can watch the new one with Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, I will. I I mean, and the Jim Carrey one. I love the Jim Carrey one. I do too. That's a good one. It's I, is it I did, is it because of the nostalgia? Because we no, were it's younger. Good. I mean, I know it's good, but do we love it because it's good? Yeah. Yeah. Someone came in and said Elf was their favorite movie, their favorite Christmas oh, movie. I love and I'm Elf. like, really? Out of yeah. all of them Christmas movies out there, Elf is your favorite That Christmas is a good movie? one. I I I can agree I with like that. it, but like sometimes it's a little too much. Oh no, I love Elf. That is a good one. I'm like and a Christmas story. Oh, Christmas story. No, that's a classic though. That's one that I watch once. You don't watch it all the way through. No, you don't. You watch it in chunks. Yeah. Which is probably why it's not my favorite, even though I've been to the Christmas Story house. Um, but that was cool, going to the Christmas Story house, even though I didn't, I don't really. We should do a Christmas in July episode and go to the Christmas Story house <gasps> when it's not busy. We should. Mm hmm Yeah. That way I can take my photos. I know. It'll, it'll be, be hotter weather. than Hades, though. <laughs> Yeah, but also, like, it's going to be a short sleeve, and That's I'm just going to wear it for the photos. That's true. All right. All right. Well, we'll keep a highlight on Twin Aura Knits for Christmas Cringe. It's going to be under Christmas Cringe. That's the highlight name. Okay. I think it's funny. Christmas Cringe is good. Yeah, I know. We like, like, so, I don't know, if you're new here and don't know anything about us, we love kitsch. We do. So Christmas crin cringe for me is like kitsch factor, and I am here for it. That is true. I'm like, I'm just excited for a new Christmas movie with Amy Acker because she already has two. I know. The ballerina one was good. That was was good. Um, like, what was it called? It a Nutcracker like, Christmas or something? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I'll, I'll a ballerina for Christmas? I don't know. No, but there is a ba Isn't there a ballerina for Christmas? Or I don't I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. <laughs> I'm like, then their other one was like a letter to Santa. That one was Oh, really the cute. letter to Santa was cute where she was, she was like, well, where she was like the little rich girl. Yeah. And she was trying to help. Oh, at the soup kitchen. I do like that one. That one's but a good one too. But she's so cute. I love she Amy Acker. Yeah. She's cute, but she's also scary when you see her in like angel or like yeah. <laughs> person of interest. Um, I do like, I like the Christmas movie tropes that you see on like ABC Family where it's like. <gasps> yeah. Like, or handcuff episode, like hand, handcuff for the holidays or something like that. Oh yeah, that's that's the one she was gonna watch. Was it last night? I don't know, but, the, but that one's a good one. I haven't With seen Ma it. But I think it's Mario Lopez and, and Melissa Joan Hart. Yes, I love those weird ones. Yeah, with like the '90s character, yes. like the '90s actors. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Mm. All right. Well, we will see you next time on Twin Ornits. Same nitty time. Same nitty channel. Bye guys. Bye.